Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video on the 2020 Ford Explorer XLT. It is going to be a four wheel drive vehicle. You can see here, it's kind of a slate gray color. Um, you're going to have your black and your chrome accents throughout the vehicle here as well. So you can see you do have the silver surrounding your Ford emblem. You'll have some silver or chrome running across your front grille here. Uh, tire tread depths, we do guarantee three quarter tread or better. I will give you exact tread depths once we make our way inside the vehicle and taking a look in the glove box on that inspection form that's signed off on by the service mechanic that has worked on the vehicle. So taking a look here in your passenger side door, you can see you do have it's more like a mesh cloth um, seating. So you're going to have your heated seats here and I will uh, let you know I was just sitting in them and they do definitely get warm. Um, you're going to have your powered adjustments here and then as i had just mentioned in this glove compartment you will find the checklist that is signed off on by the mechanic that serviced the vehicle you are at 7 30 seconds for your front tires you are at 9 30 seconds for the rear brake pads you are at 14 and 13 30 seconds so everything has been um, taken care of don't have to worry with any of it anytime soon you do also have your owner's manual in here then as well for your convenience Taking a look here at your door, you can see you have that black and the silver accent again running throughout the vehicle. Going to have powered locks and windows. A um, little bit of a cup holder and then some storage space down below. So this is going to be a third row vehicle um, or a three row vehicle. So your second row, your middle row here, you do have your three seats. You'll have like all weather mats down below here. Um, some storage in the back of both of your seats. Do you also have your heating and cooling as well as heated seats for your middle row passengers, which is always convenient. This does also fold down to serve as two cup holders if you're not utilizing that um, middle seat. Now, this does also fold forward really easily for you to be able to access the two um, back seats here then as well. And then they both have their own little separate um, cup holder and storage compartment in the back there as well. Um, for your backseat passengers, you will still have your powered windows. And again, the door is still going to be that same color concept running throughout. It is a powered lift gate. So push the button and it will open itself. I just want to show you what this back trunk area can look like. So you have these if you need to utilize on the third row. However, if you do want to set this forward, it will easily fall forward. Um, so you can put both seats down um, and you would see that you'll have a lot of trunk space. To close it, you simply just push this button here and it will close there for you on its own. You'll have your towing capabilities um, down here as well as your backup sensors. Always a great safety feature and then you'll also have the backup camera here. I'm just showing you on the side on the badging that it is an EcoBoost four-wheel drive and that it is an XLT. So. Go ahead and take a quick look here in the back on um, your driver's side. And again, you'll still have that same. See, I did have to put that other one down um, just to show you the trunk space, but um, overall same setup and same with the door. You will have the cup holder and your powered windows. It is a Ford, so you have your pin entry here, which is always a plus, so you don't have to worry with being locked out of your vehicle. You can lock your keys inside the vehicle if you would wish to, if you don't want to have them on you. And in your, win um, in your mirror here, you do have your blind spot monitoring indicator. Looking at your door, you are going to have your powered locks, windows, and your mirror adjustments. We'll have powered seats here for front, back, up, down, and lumbar support. And to the left of your steering wheel, you're going to have all of your light options as well as your trunk opening. Go ahead and hop in here. It is push to start, so we'll go ahead and get everything turned on. To the left on your steering wheel, you're going to have all your cruise control settings as well as your volume displays. To the right, you're going to have your display options and then all of your Bluetooth options as well. Taking a look up here in the dash, you can see that this 2020 does have 22,730 miles on it. As I had mentioned, it is a push to start. And you do have a really nice screen here as far as your touch, dis um, like a touch display. Uh, so you can set it up however you would like. Um, 
but you can do all of your AM, FM, Sirius XM radio settings from here, all of your Bluetooth options, and then any other settings that you would really want to have. But I am going to go ahead and put it in reverse really fast just to show you what that backup camera would look like. So it is a really crisp and clear backup camera. Down below here, you will see you have all of your heating and cooling options. As I mentioned, you do have your heated seats. You also have your heated steering wheel. Um, you do, it does appear that you also will have um, all of your tuning here then for your radio as well. Looking up here, you can see there is a spot that you would be able to set your phone or your keys in, which is nice to keep them from like rolling around or anything like that. You have a nice storage compartment down here then with your um, charging docks. Your drive modes are going to be on like um, a knob switch here. All of your parking, brake, um, and then all of your different drive modes. You have your two cup holders here, but then you also have your keys. So this will show you what the key looks like. And you will get two keys, as you can see here. It does say one of two. So there will be two keys that come with the vehicle. Taking a look down here, you can just see that you do have a storage well. It does have an additional charging port. Up top here, you'll see all of your light options so you can set them up to whether or not you want your lights to come on when you open your door. You will also have your visor with the lights. Taking a quick look here at your Carfax history report. Will show zero accidents or damages have been reported on this vehicle and there have been two owners um, as well. Now I will say one of the common questions that we get is why does it have two owners and it's only 2020? I can tell you that this was a local trade-in and it was from someone who had um, recently purchased it. You can see that they had it for seven months and she decided that she wanted um, a lifted Jeep. So she was uh, had a job change and was working from home. So she traded this in for a lifted Jeep. Nothing that it was wrong with the vehicle, just that her situation changed. So um, I would say don't let the two owners um, deter you from this vehicle, even though it's a 2020. Uh, so for the last section of the video, we're going to get out noticing any sort of dense things or imperfections you could expect to find on a 2020. So there's not gonna be very many, but again, stone chipping is um, a very common um, thing for used vehicles. So it does have a couple, not anything not anything that's um, not ordinary. There's a little scuff mark right there. Making our way back through here. Just a little one right here. Nothing to really note on the back side other than two little scuffs right there. Overall rims are in good condition. There's a little mark right here. So overall really good condition, 2020 um, Ford Explorer, just over 20 some thousand miles on it. So if this is something that you would be interested in, give us a call 717-485-4224. Check us out online at www.allthingsautomotive.com or come down and visit the showroom 21518 Great Cove Road in McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania. Thanks and have a great day.